And to have this happen in Brigantine, where you don't really expect something like this to happen. Residents of a South Jersey community are concerned after anti-Semitic flyers are littered across town. Good evening, I'm Carrie Carrado, in for Joe Holden tonight. Now, it's a shocking find. Brigantine, New Jersey police are working to find who is responsible for the flyers. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute talked to outraged residents. What they mean is their hatred of Jews, and the message is very clear. It's a plastic bag filled with flyers meant to spread fear and harm. Sunday morning, residents in Brigantine found them littered all over the island. All of a sudden, I started seeing these things with a British flag on them with corner, and they were at every corner. On his afternoon walk, Bob Matzik stumbled upon several of them. Police believe this is one of hundreds. It says America did not break free from a small country across the sea. And then on the other side, it says, just to get control by another small country across the sea years later. What do you think that means? I have no idea. In a statement, Brigantine police called the bags and its contents anti-Semitic. They say the literature does not contain any threats, but is consistent with anti-Semitic flyers seen throughout the country in recent weeks. Very frightening. Anti-Semitism is on the rise. Jan Sarator is the president of Temple Beth Shalom in Brigantine. She and her husband Steve say they didn't get a notice, but know several people who did. A line at the bottom of the flyer says they were placed at random without malicious intent. I don't know how these can be distributed without malicious intent when they're blaming the Jews for everything that's gone wrong in this country. It's very disturbing. Randomly, perhaps. Malicious, absolutely. The two say they will be meeting with community members to decide how to move forward together. In the meantime, they're asking everyone to disregard the letters and its anonymous senders. I think everybody has felt largely comfortable on the island. And so, as I think Jan said, there's just no place for this here or anywhere. In Brigantine, Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.